Okay, now in this video, we're going to just quickly go over how do you solve each equation by graphing. Now there's two different approaches. You can see that this first approach, we've got a left-hand side of the equation that involves an expression and the right-hand side of the equation that is not equal to zero versus number eight, where the left-hand side of the equation is set equal to zero. Okay, so then we've got zero right here. And then number nine, we're back to the left-hand side is equal to a cubic polynomial, and the right-hand side is equal to a linear polynomial. There we go. So how do we do seven and nine versus number eight? I will show you. Number seven, we're going to set the left-hand side of the equation equal to y1 and the right-hand side equal to y2. So y1 will equal x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x and y2 will equal negative 10. You're going to graph or draw that and then you will hit F5 for G solve. And then you will choose intersect, which I believe is F5 intersect. And the answers are the X values of each intersection point. And the reason why it's just the x values is because the original equation only has x's. x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x equals negative 10. So we're just solving for x. So it's the x values of each intersection point. And that's going to be the same for number 9. However, on number 8, we just have a y1. So you're going to put y1 equals... 2x to the fourth minus 5x cubed minus 3x squared. Anything else that's in the other y values, delete those out. And then you're going to draw it. And then again, f5, which is g solve. And this time, because it's set equal to zero, we're going to be looking for the roots, and that is f1. And you will note the x values of each root is a solution. And that's how you solve by graphing for all three of those.